Hello, Athish Gaming back once again with the final video. Now, you might be saying, but didn't you say you were going to do Alliance? I'm not. I don't know enough about Alliance. And other than saying, hey, you should find a place for a Boomkin, a Disc Priest, and a Shadow Priest in your raid, there's not really much I can say. Your raid comp's not going to change much. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the best raid comp for the pre-patch. So let's get started at building this out. So much like our previous one, you're going to have a protection warrior and either a fury or fury prot, depending on how that works out. You're going to have your arms warrior and you're going to have your retribution paladin along with an enhancement shaman. And now we're going to skip actually to our DPS groups. And remember what I said, the Combat and Fury can be substituted for each other. If you have five really good combat rogues, run five really good combat rogues and throw in an Enhancement Shaman. Now you might be saying, but we're Alliance, we can't really do this. Uh, sorry Alliance, um, it's a lot harder for you guys in the pre-patch because all Horde has to do is level up three Paladins and they get most of the benefit and they already have a core of six to eight shamans to cover all their groups so it looks like it's coming back around to be horde favored even though initially only having group-wide buffs is a detriment to horde so let's get actually into the caster groups here so we're going to go with some fire mages who should still be good and we're going to throw in the balanced druid and our elemental shaman so this is your big pumper caster group. These guys are getting 8% crit and 3% hit, which they'll need because the fire mages drop their hit. And then we'll get into our other caster group, which we are going to have our warlocks. Now these warlock specs, as I've mentioned, can be flexible because we don't know what the best warlock spec is. Hey, maybe even demonology is the best. Throw in a fire mage here. And then this spot, we're actually going to put a Restoration Shaman. Just note that if you end up only needing nine healers, spoiler, there's only nine healers, there's ten healers in this comp, this is an Elemental Shaman then. But until then, this is a Restoration Shaman because we just need the healers. Now, for the healing groups, we're going to have a Holy, a Holy, a Holy, and a Discipline Priest. Discipline Priest necessary, as you recall, for the uh, Divine Spirit buff. Now, we're going to put a Shadow Priest in this group along with a Holy Paladin and a Restoration Shaman. Oh, and a Restoration Shaman. Now, in this last group, we're going to go with a Restoration Druid and two Restoration Shamans. You can sub one of these guys out for a Paladin of your Alliance. These just need to be healers. Uh, and then the last, we're going to get to this group, Tank Group 2. So we're going to have our Druid Tank and two Survival Hunters. The reason why we're putting the Hunters and the Druid together is because A, they don't want Wind Fury, and B, Crits make them have a high, crits from feral make survival hunters have higher uptime on their expose, and then because we don't have a, night, a good other class that doesn't want wind fury unless you want to run three hunters, we're gonna put a holy Paladin in here. This will just they'll give bonuses to this and then an enhancement shaman. So this means this group is getting bonuses and can get resistances from the holy paladin, and the enhancement shaman can just focus on DPS totems for the survival hunters and feral druid. So this is your best, in my opinion, pre-patch raid comp for phase 6.5. And like I said, warlocks, flexible specs, and these are not set in stone. And if you don't need as many healers, sub out this druid, or this shaman, for an elemental shaman. Otherwise, let me know what you think. Do you agree, disagree? And I'll be looking for your comments. Thanks. Bye.